friction. Alright, so ow. Idiot. All right, hold on. That was All right, so friction. If you didn't have friction, you couldn't skateboard. Because, of course, you'd go sliding off from underneath. And friction is all pretty much skateboarding, too. Because if you look at the shoes that we use... <laughs> smart. Um, the shoes have lots of grip. Now, these are kind of crappy because they're pretty old. I just didn't want to tear up the new ones that I got. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of grip tape. And, I mean, um, grip on the shoes and lots of tread. So that can grip the grip tape on the board. And the now, board has the grip tape on it. It's kind of like sandpaper, it's pretty coarse. As you can see, it kind of rubs your hand, and if you look at this, the shoe, when you have your full weight on it, it doesn't slide at all. And that makes pretty much everything for skateboarding possible. Tricks, riding it, pushing off, anything. Now, without friction, you couldn't do this either. If I was just, rock, just, just letting it sit there, and I ran up to it, I would just go sliding off because of friction. Right, so basically, without friction, you cannot even stand okay. on the board. Another concept we have on friction and skateboarding is the wheel and the ground, like a car, you need friction or the wheels will not like catch on the ground to let the wheels spin. This has to do with anything with wheels and skateboarding, wheels are more like the most important part. Now, when you're riding a skateboard, you want a smooth surface. So you're just sliding around, and that causes the friction. You want good, clean friction. Now, if you don't have enough friction, or you have too much friction, the board will simply stop no matter what speed you're going at. Like that. You need the right amount of friction to skateboard, or this will happen. Also, another thing is, if it's too slippery, like it's just ice, like over there, over there, of course, we can't go on there right now because there's grass all around and that would screw up the bearings. But if you go on that, there's not enough friction for you to stand up. So either the board would go sliding out from under you or it would just be pointless to skate because your feet would slide and you wouldn't go anywhere. Okay, also more experts. The one way to stop when they're going at really high speed, they need to do something called a power slide. And what happens is... The board will go and turn like that, and because of friction, it will stop the board at an increasing speed because you're not rolling with the wheels anymore, you're rolling like that. So I'll kind of look like this, so I'm not an expert, remember that. But doing that, it's slowing the board way down than you're going. Alright, so another thing that has to do with friction is the bearings. The wheel just keeps on going, you can hear that, because of the bearings. Now what's in the bearing is, the reason why it's called a ball bearing is because there's lots of little tiny balls in there inside of a groove. Now you can see the metal ring around there, there's another metal ring behind this, and I don't want to take this off right now because I did that once and I almost lost the bearings inside. But as you can see, there's a little plastic ring around there to keep the balls in there just to be safe because they could fall out if they didn't have that. And there's a groove inside there to keep them so they stay in there. Now the reason why that is is because it's supposed to reduce the friction. Because if they were just sitting there, like there wasn't anything in there, it was just a ring around it, it would still roll, but it wouldn't go as fast. And not only that, but it wouldn't stay going. So, so what, what does this have to do with friction now? This has to do with friction because partly, if you didn't have the ball bearings, 
you wouldn't be able to slide on the road. You could, but it wouldn't be as efficient. And it brings down the friction by having the ball bearings inside there. Because as you can see, it spins. What's that stove doing, Mary?